Derek, you've had a couple of days to hopefully relax a little bit, knowing you maybe not too much relaxing. I know you're always thinking ahead to the future, but considering what your team just did, have you been able to enjoy it regardless of the outcome in the postseason? Certainly. I, anytime a season ends as abruptly as it does sometimes in the playoffs, only one team gets to celebrate all the way to the end. Uh, but I, I would say the further you get away from it, the more you reflect back on what was accompanied. You know, there were some really fun moments of 2019, and 101 wins is something to really be proud of. When you hire a new coach, a new manager, you don't know what the expectations are. You had a lot of returning staff members, but you had a new manager, and it seemed like that group got together so well and worked together so well. What was it like for you to watch them be able to achieve what they did with this team in year one together. Yeah, I think that it really roots back in Rocco Baldelli and the way he led and his inclusion right from the get-go. He wanted to be a part of this organization across the board, and we could tell that during the course of the interview process. So we got together as a staff in Florida, I remember back in, in January, and spent some time talking about what, how we wanted to operate. And you could tell right from the get-go this group was going to get together. So uh, I'm, just, I'm really proud of Rocco and the staff and what they did this year. When you think back to his initial interviews, I know you guys are really excited and you had a lot of confidence in him, but could you have imagined that you would hit such a big home run in a manager like you did with Rocco? You know, I would say that I knew from the get-go, we didn't know what would happen from a wins and losses standpoint, but I knew we had a great partner, someone who really wanted to invest in the growth and development of our young players, uh, to connect with our minor leagues, to be a big part of the whole organization. And I think that uh, from the get-go, I knew we had the right man in place. There was no question in my mind. And now, uh, now we've seen the result of what that looks like. Do you feel like you guys are even maybe ahead of schedule on, you know, you always hear about people having, you know, first year plans, five year plans, long term plans, but to have this success right off the bat, do you almost feel like you guys are ahead of schedule and then what's in store down the road? Well, I would say that I, I really probably don't ascribe too much to schedule since <laughs> sport. You know, it's uh, everything goes so quickly and you have to appreciate every year you have. But admittedly, for this team to have gone from 100 losses in 2016 to 100 wins to three years, three seasons later, it's, it's a credit to the players. It's a credit to everyone who works hard every day to put the team in this position. And I think uh, hopefully we just continue to find a way to build off of that. When you reflect back years down the road, what is going to stand out to you the most about this team this season? I think the way our guys competed every night and the relationships that were built in that room. I think it, at the beginning of the year, people asked, what, what's our win total going to be? Or what's that look like? My answer was, I hope it's just one more than the next team because that means we're in a good place. But at the end of the day, they never focused on a, on a win total. They focused on playing the best baseball they could every night. And having been a part of that and witnessed that, I'm really proud of that. The offseason is always an exciting time. Then you add in the expectations and it kicks up an even, you know, even a uh, bigger level. There are going to be some very high expectations surrounding sure. the team this year. How do you temper that? How do you, I guess, what's your message to what this team might be capable of next season? Well, I think ex if expectations are high, that's a good thing. It means that our, our guys have reached a point where there's, uh, everyone believes that they can go achieve something special. That's what we believe this year in this team, and hopefully we'll continue to build around it to do that in subsequent years, because we fully expect in 2020, our guys are going to go compete again every night as they step out there, and hopefully the fans will see a lot of fun like we had this year. What's your game plan for the offseason as far as free agency and moves that maybe fans can look forward to? Well, well, I would say that at this point, it's so early in the process, you never know how it's going to play out. In the past, I've been bad at predicting how free agency plays out. So I would say that our focus is going to be to add to this team, though. We know where we are. We know we have the ability. We've created some flexibility in terms of payroll space. And maybe through trade or through free agency, we're going to find ways to augment this club. How eager are you for another crack at the postseason with this team, regardless of who you guys may bring in, but just the foundation you have? How excited are you to get back there and, and maybe extend this past the three-game series? No doubt. I mean, that's the goal, right? At the end of the day, you want to be the last team standing. And I think that uh, for us, getting just a taste of it again this year, as we did a couple of years ago, uh, it only builds for those guys to know that that's, that's the most exciting baseball to be playing. And uh, we're going to work every day this offseason and, and once we get into next year to get back there. Is there a priority for you in the offseason? Well, well, I think priorities in, in general are just to find the spots we need to get better. We do know we'll, we're going to need to augment some of our pitching staff with some free agents on that side of the ball, uh, but continue to find ways to, to add to this club is, is what we're going to focus on. And how about the off season for you when you do get a chance to relax? Any exciting plans for you? Well, as long as I get to spend time with my wife and two kids, um, that, that's what I'm looking forward to is just to get a little bit of more time at home uh, on, on occasion, not at 7 o'clock every night here at the ballpark when the game starts and maybe sitting at home with them. That's what I look forward to. Well, enjoy it. You certainly deserve it. And congratulations on a great season. Thanks, Audra. Yeah.